Hey guys, welcome back. It's Maverick here with another episode of Your Camp. And man, every week this time cannot come soon enough. I'm always exhausted by the time I get to this point. Uh, and I really need this. It's like a drug or whatnot to, to keep me going. Or I guess we could call it an energy drink if you want to spin it a little bit more positively, right? Uh, and in any case, uh, we are about to see Nadeshiko truly go solo camping. I mean, she already started last episode, but let's be honest, that was more like solo sightseeing, if you will. There's not really much of camping being done yet. So hopefully we can recertify that issue in this episode. Let's just get right into it. All right, uh, let's begin in three. Two, one, play. Rectify, I mean, not rectify. Like, what am I talking about? <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, I remember. She needs to, like, hike, walk, like, five kilometers, right? I mean, it's not hard to walk five kilometers, it's pretty easy, but going up a mountain and with all that gear, eesh. <laughs> uh, watch the road, girl. Healthy green space. Yeah. Oh. Yay, she made it. All right, and the opening. Yep. <laughs> of course it is. Let's see if she's going to be able to set up uh, the camp. I mean, I'm sure she will, but I just want to see if she uh, encounters any problems and whatnot. Setting up her tent, setting up her gear. Probably the one thing she's going to do the best is the cooking, right? <laughs> I have no doubt that she's going to be cooking an exquisite dish. Oh, hey. There you go. I know, like, obviously, that scene made absolutely no sense, because it's the weekend, they should all be, uh, they should all be off doing their own thing. I was talking about, um, Rin's smartphone, and the pictures on it, of Nadeshiko. Seize that day! Two episode oh season two eps what what is two episodes three all right doesn't matter huh really. I feel like that kind of, uh, defeats half the purpose. <laughs> yeah. So, I guess that little family there is going to come up later down the line. Hmm. 
<laughs> you want to go set up your tent first, girl? Uh, that's gonna break off. Oh, really? It didn't? Typically when it bends that way and goes, you bend it back the other way, it would break off. Yeah. Ooh. Adapt and improvise. Hmm? What? Wabi Sabi? I have no idea what that is. Another. most beautiful villages in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is like really out there, I feel. This is definitely not a place that a foreigner is going to anytime soon. This will definitely this is definitely one of those anime or works that's very hard to make pilgrimages to. I actually like deer meat. Well, I mean... There's like a... F Just like Mendoza. <laughs> I'm 
Uh, I was about to say, um, Bear Paws. I mean, there's authentic ones, but uh, a lot of times it's actually just used as a sort of dish naming for pork, actually. Way to run. <laughs> yeah, she's worried. <laughs> Four PM. Wait, so you're... So you're going to go search for her? Oh, and is her sister actually also like, how come you're not... I want to say that they're worrying too much, but honestly, that's actually a much more, um, that's a much more realistic reaction. <laughs> Convenience stores. There, they're gonna meet Nadishko. Dang, she's really getting caught. <laughs> oh, I mean, it is Nata Shiko. I mean, it's a common way to do that, but I'm talking more about uh, the fact that she's actually putting the coals on. He's already there. Macho no masa. Aren't you guys supposed to be heating your... 
Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller. I'm guessing the dad's probably gonna come soon. Worry that hey, what are you guys doing? Dang, a four course. I'm glad that I'm not that hungry right now. <laughs> Bang, you really went all the way here? Seriously? Uh, she purposely chose to go somewhere near Rin, didn't she? Is she gonna meet Sakura on the way back? She's gonna meet Sakura, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Natishiko is probably going to, uh... Oh, here she comes. <laughs> Run! <laughs> and then she's gonna send the, uh, the pictures to them, right? And then she's finally gonna realize, oh, she's out of range. Uh, she's trying to send the picture to the
<laughs> there it is. And it's just gonna get like, oh. Yep, and of course it's the night scene. <laughs> and everything's fine in the end, of course. Oh. <laughs> I have a feeling you're just gonna fall asleep here, Narishika. And once again, that night scenery, it just, it seems more, you know, photo-esque than, than really hand-drawn or anything. Like, I don't know how they did it. Seems that there's still a little bit left, question mark. Early next morning. Huh. Well, looks like that's gonna be a no. Oh, I know, I know. Probably we have a hey, I camp or, any, or whatnot at the very end there. Because I'm just looking at you know, how much time is remaining? It seems definitely seems that there's a lot more. Yeah, now she can survive anywhere. You can't just help but, you know, sway along to this song. Ooh, ooh, la 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 la. La. All right. Is it the aftermath? Is it hey I can't? Oh no, it's neither. It's Inuyukusan. Okay, that's a little bit creepy. <laughs> Oof. Oof, that is expensive. <laughs> Alright. Well, see you guys after this. Well, alrighty, and I think this episode concludes uh, Narishiko's solo camping trip, right? Unless, of course, they're going to do a little bit more stuff um, in terms of sightseeing and whatnot next episode. But at that point, it's really kind of ir irrelevant, right? She's already gotten through the, the hardest part of everything, which is getting to the campsite, setting up, uh, having something to eat, and so on and so forth. And so, you know, she, she is now able to do this stuff on her own. And it was quite funny at the end there, seeing Sakura, seeing Rin, uh, you know, being so worried about her to, to the point where they actually did tell her all the way to the campsite and whatnot. But, um, you know, at least they weren't discovered, right? It didn't really uh, ruin 
Natashiko's illusion of actually having gone solo camping by herself, which, you know, to be fair, it's still true, right? It's not like they helped her in any way or shape or form, right? Uh, and again, it's pretty hilarious seeing that. Uh, I actually thought that they were going to receive the, the photos right there uh, in the bushes or whatnot, and then they were going to have to, like, find a way to, like, run or, or hide themselves from Narishiko and so on and so forth, but I guess it didn't turn out to be that cliche. Uh, but, no, I, I do feel like that's probably more on Narishiko than anything else. She kind of, in her excitement, forgot to actually tell her friends and family that she had successfully reached a campsite and is now setting up camp right so i think that's something that probably rin should have uh, drilled into her a lot more which is to have regular you know regular reports of how you're doing you know just just for i mean it's the first time right so uh you should keep your your friends and family uh, give them peace of mind and whatnot but um you know we can clearly see that Nashiko uh, with that kind of personality with that kind of positive uh positivity and whatnot she can go anywhere right and it's not going I, I I literally think you can throw her into the middle of a foreign country and she'll find a way to survive um you know, and, and flourish, if you will. You know, we'd all say, okay, we're going to be super worried about her. She's bound to be, like, um, you know, she, she's bound to screw up, get lost, or something like that. But, you know, her survivability sk skills, I would say, are top, top notch. Um, at least if, if the uh, surrounding neighbors are nice anyways, because she does have this natural personality to, to make friends. Uh, and speaking of, uh, the family that we saw in this episode, I do wonder, right, because if there's anything that this series has been consistent so far on, it's that all the characters that are introduced in one way or another are not just especially the ones like this one which are actually which have more than one line of dialogue we typically see them later right it's a story utilized later on down the road recurring characters and whatnot so i do wonder if we're going to see them maybe sometime in the future as well uh and to see like what exactly how that exactly progresses the story forward and all that but anyways um not really too much else to add for this episode um you know uh, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it, right? Uh, I guess with episodes 9 for 12, we can look forward to the actual, you know, group camp, which I assume, I mean, I'm gonna be sorely, dis I'm gonna be severely, severely disappointed if they don't actually have a group camping trip at, at the end of this season, right? I mean, it's kind of like tradition at this point. So, um, I think we're about to go prep for that part. Can't wait for it. And I will see you guys in the following episodes as well. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.